Hello, we're continuing to create this website using WordPress and Genesis theme. Um, one thing I did last time was to create the background colour for the website, but also on the PSD we have a gradient down from the top, so I'm just going to create that. I'll get a marquee in Photoshop and um, copy a little bit of that. Um, we'll create a new file and we only need it to be one pixel wide and paste that in and then we'll save that for web we save that in the theme folder in WP content themes and the theme we created and then images and we'll call it BG JPEG and then in the CSS and in body we need to put that along the top so we go URL open brackets images what did we call it bg.jpg close brackets repeat x so it repeats along the top. Update that and have a look at the site. Ah, see there's a, a white bit at the bottom there. I'll just cut that off in Photoshop. I think 600 would be enough. And I'm going to say replace that. Okay, let's have a look at it now. That's a bit better. Okay, another thing you can see here, this is the home page and there's a sample page. We've got a secondary navigation bar here and we've also got some breadcrumbs here. And neither of these are on the template that we're trying to emulate. So to do that we need to go into the Genesis theme settings and here you'll see primary na navigations we want to get rid of the secondary navigation because that's the extra bar that we don't need and also breadcrumbs here we can get rid of that we don't want breadcrumbs on any pages also here you can decide not to have any comments or trackbacks on posts or pages um, I might take them off in the future I'm not sure if the client wants them yet or not uh, how to display posts on blog page also there's header and footer scripts, but we'll come back to this later. Um, at the bottom here we have saved settings, so we'll save the changes there. And if we refresh the site, you'll see that the breadcrumb has disappeared and we've only got one navbar, which is good because that's all we want. Okay, we're going to work from the top here and try and make this WordPress site look like this PSD. First of all, let's create, get this logo and see if we can put it in the top left of the site. Um, to do this, I'm using a marquee to go around the logo and copying it. I go Command Shift C, which is copy copy merged, and that means we don't have to bother getting on the right layer in order to copy it. So um, Command or Control Shift C is is a good way of doing this. And then we go Command or Control N for a new Photoshop document, and it will give us the dimensions of what we've just copied there, which is rather handy because you have to remember that for creating it in the website. Paste that in there, and now we're going to save that, and as always with web images, we want to make them as small as possible so we get the website to load down as quickly as we can and here I've made this um, JPEG of high compression quality 60 you can put it down to 44 we're starting to get a bit of pixelation there as it's the logo I'm going to put it up to about 55 and that gives us a JPEG of under 10k so that's more or less okay and we're going to call this logo imaginatively dot jpeg 
Now let's see if we can put it into this in here. And as we can see from the developer tools, at the moment it's got the um, title, it's in a, a div ID called title area. And let's see if we can put it there in the CSS. So we go dot head header image hash title area, open curly brackets, background, colon, URL, brackets, open brackets, images, what did we call it, logo dot JPEG, semicolon, close the brackets. Okay, that's not going to fit in because the area isn't the right size. Didn't work either. And the reason that didn't work is because in the theme that we loaded down, the, the sample child theme, there's um, support for this custom header uh, that we don't want. We're going to get rid of that and that will get rid of this header in the appearance section. And then as we've deleted that from the theme functions, you can go back into the Genesis theme settings. This didn't appear earlier, but under header settings, you can change it to from dynamic text, which is what it is at the moment. You can put image logo, save that, and now if we <laughs> now if we um, refresh, we can see that the logo is there. Of course, it's repeating itself, um, and that's because I forgot in the style sheets to put a no repeat on to, on it. Okay, here we go. No repeat. Top left. It's 126 high, and I think we'll have to put that in the header image area. Let's let's. Do 126 there. I think we have to put that in somewhere else as well if memory serves because the header itself is only 90. So we'll give that 126 and I think that should be enough. Yeah, 